Welcome back to my channel guys, Next in Food. Today I want to show you how to make a jerk plantain burger. Yes, I said it. So we are going to ditch the yeast bun and we'll be using green plantain as the buns for the burger. And then for the jerk aspect of it, we're using ground beef and then that is going to get marinated in some jerk seasoning. So the first thing I'll be doing is to fry the green plantain. So these are two green plantains. I cut them in two inches thick. You want to put them in a small amount of oil so that they can cook through. The, green, the cooking process for these green plantain is two steps. So this is the first step. So we're giving it the first cook. And so you want to fry it at a lower temperature. If you notice the bubbles, they're, they're small. So this oil is at about 250 degrees Fahrenheit. It's very important so that it doesn't cook on the outside and remain raw on the inside. So we're gonna leave it in this oil until it is soft and tender. And then we will increase the temperature of the oil and crisp it up. All right guys, so the green plantains are now tender. These have been in the oil slow cooking for about five minutes. So I'm removing them with a slotted spoon. And then I will increase the temperature of the oil because now we want some crispness on it. So I turn the stove up and now let me show you a little trick. This is a tortilla press. I'm gonna to use to flatten the plantain. If you don't have one of these, you can use a plate to just press it flat. So I'm gonna just put it in, close it down, and just apply some pressure. So I wanna flatten the plantain about the size of the burger. All right, so you flatten it and then you remove it just like that. You want to do these while they're still hot because they press a lot better when they're hot. And don't worry if they're not perfectly round. Again, it's not about perfection. So you put it on and you close and you flatten it. Okay. And you gently remove it. So I'm gonna put it back in the oil for it to crisp up. All right guys, so the plantains are now on your second fry. You notice how crisp they are. For this, it's very important that the oil, you increase the temperature of the oil to 350 and you fry them in small batches, like two at a time. If you're using a small pot like I am, this is what the finished plantains look like and these are going to replace the regular yeast bread so our burgers will go in between the plantains avocado season so i want to make a little bit of avocado spread uh, you might call it guacamole call it whatever i'm just calling it a spread in this container i have a small avocado all i did was to remove it from um, the skin and mash it up. So I'm gonna add some flavor to it. I'm adding some freshly squeezed lime juice, some salt, avocado and salt goes well together. So you wanna make sure that you add some salt to it. And then I want to add some finely chopped tomatoes, onions. This is red onions I'm using. You can use whatever onion you like. You can even use scallions. And then finally, of course, a little bit of bell peppers. This is gonna get spread on our burger. So this is going to replace, you know, the mayonnaise that you normally put on a burger. So this is plant-based and simple. So you can pick up your favorite avocado brand and make an avocado spread. So this is all there is. For our jerk burger, we need some ground beef. If you cannot find ground beef, minced beef is fine. If you don't eat beef, you could do ground pork or even chicken. 
So I'm gonna season it up. I'm adding in some all-purpose seasoning. Use your favorite seasoning. My kids like cheese in it, so I'm adding some pepper jack cheese. I'm also adding some chopped scallions and onions. And then the star of the show, some jerk seasoning. For this jerk seasoning recipe, we will put it in the link below. It's on the channel. You can see how it is made up. And because this, this beef is so lean, I'm adding in like about a tablespoon of vegetable oil. And then all we do is just combine. Just combine everything. The cheese is going to flavor the burger and add some extra moistness to it. The jerk seasoning that we're using is not spicy. Do not believe that all jerk seasonings are spicy. It's not. This one was made by me, so I control the amount of pepper that went in it. Just want to combine it. A tip though, you need to keep your ground beef chilled when you're making the burgers at home. So this is nice and cold and chill. I'm gonna divide this into four because I'm only making four burgers. And these are quarter pounders, what that means. Each burger will weigh four ounces. It doesn't have to be exact or perfect. Cooking is not about perfection. I already made some up here. So we're going to just shape them into a ball. Shape all of them in a ball, put them on a plate. And then after you shape them in a ball, you flatten them as thin as you want. Again, remember guys, it's not about perfection. It's all about the flavor. So you can make them as thick as you like. I like to make them thin because in the cooking process, it's going to shrink. So I prefer to start off making them thin. So we're making them about four inches wide. If it's falling apart on you, don't worry. Just squeeze it back together. And we're going to go over to the stove and these are going to be cooked in a very hot frying pan these can be grilled but we're cooking them in a frying pan just to show you how easy it is to make them if you don't want to use a frying pan you could put these on a small tray and put them in your toaster oven at 450 that works too so it's summertime and we're having these fun food. So we're doing some jerk cheeseburgers and the cheese is inside of these burgers. And we're replacing the bread with green plantains, fried green plantains. So if you are gluten intolerant, are you just looking for something different? This is very simple. Plantain is easy to find. If you don't like the green plantain, you can use the ripe plantain. And these are our jerk cheeseburgers. We're gonna go to the stove and cook them. And the burgers are gonna go into a hot skillet, just like this. You hear that sizzle, that's what you want to hear. You want to use a nice wide skillet so that you can have all four of them pulled in at once. these are going to sear until they're brown on one side all right guys so all the components for our green planting jerk burger is ready and so I'm going to show you how this is assembled. So this is one of the plantains. This one is deliberate. I like it very, very crisp. So this one is mine and the rest is for the family. So this is some pepper jelly. Just put some pepper jelly on. And then I'm going to put the cheese directly over the pepper jelly. And then the burger goes onto the cheese and 
tomato goes on to the burger and then finally our beautiful guacamole i'm just going to put a dollar of guacamole on and these can be served half closed like so or like so all right but it's a burger so we're going to put it on and this is what our burger looks like when you bite into it you will see and taste all the components so one down a couple more to go absolutely delicious comment down below subscribe like and share i am your diva chef simone walker barrett take care